guys, welcome to Kings, Gals, and Channel. This is your boy Bo. How are we doing, guys? We are doing fine. Sorry, it's been a little while since I made a video. Been busy, you know, trucking. <laughs> Anyways, other than that, I just wanted, uh, you know, make a trucking video. A lot of questions that have been asked on how I got these mods and everything else. Well, the good news is this time and this day is today that I'm going to show you what i've done how i did it step by step and everything else yeah you see it this is the peterbilt viper 389 she's a beauty i'm going to sh uh, let alone explain to you what is all in her and everything else here soon other than that i just want to do a humongous shout out to all my trucking buddies out there gecko heavy c uh creator g Everybody out there, thank you so much for the love and support and everything else and subscribing to my channel and all that and trucking with you guys and all that on multiplayer. Now, <clears throat> a special somebody that I want to do an actual, spe more of a special um, dedication to this video is for uh, Creator G. Uh, he's a good friend of mine and everything else. You know, we truck together and everything and you know chill and all that stuff but he was asking me you know how do you get all these mods and everything else well buddy i'm going to show you so a special thanks one more time to all my trucking buddies out there uh for uh uh dedicating with the uh our uh company name of uh paladin um you know i uh for everybody that is on that team and everything else you know subscribe if you haven't other than that thank you for subscribing to my channel but let's get down to business and everything else so like i said this is a peterbilt 389 viper okay viper 2 okay so i'm going to show you how she runs sounds the whole jet all right so what we're going to do is we're going to hit drive be nice wouldn't it Try to make things a lot easier. I don't know why my steering wheel is being a jack. Okay. Ooh, perfect timing, too, actually. All right, so this is what she looks like in the day on the road again. Can't wait to get on the road again. Yes, these are lights that are blinking. Why? You may ask. Because those are my fours. My hazard lights? Oh, yeah, they do that. So, like... Say you're driving and you're pulling over and everything else, right? Yup, these are all fours. I added a few extra lights. You can see the lights underneath the chassis right by the gas tank. Uh, there are some lights there too. Now, what was that? You want to hear how she sounds? No problemo. Got that. Now, here we go, guys. Let's fire it up. Listen to that baby purr. Ooh. Now that's what I'm talking about. If this truck was able to talk to me, I'll ask if it was if I was able to marry her. Ooh, man. Anyways, back to the old drawing board. Yeah, you do. You see the dog that's inside the cab sitting next to me. His name is Rex. He's a German Shepherd. And look at the pipes on that thing. Oh, God. All right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take her for a little uh, little bit of a cruise and bruising here. And I'm going to show you and let you listen to how she sounds on the freaking road as we're shifting gears uh, and everything else. So, we are going to go for a little drive. Um, I'm going to try my hardest to <laughs> to be silent as you guys are hearing it so you guys have an idea of what she sounds like but anyways let's get ready to rumble 
All right, so we have the windows down. It still sounds really loud. We're above. Um, and this what it sounds like when the windows are up. A little quieter, but you can still hear that purr there. But I prefer myself with no fan on. Ah, uh, thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and take it for a spin. <laughs> and those were gears, by the way. Yes, the lights on the side of the uh, gas tank you see lighting up on my left mirror. Yes, they are turn signals. And yes, you can do that. Ooh. Ooh. Dang. Anyway. Man, hearing that. Man, she sounds pissed.
shut her off but that's how she looks like all lit up and everything just imagine it being like pitch black out and you have all these lights right that's just ridiculous in a good way I mean so let's go ahead and press F7 and we'll see uh, how Bo did it Now, before I, you know, customize a rig, let's start with what mods I'm using. That probably would be a little bit easier. Okay, so the mods I'm using are very easy to find. Um, if you, obviously, the only way you're able to play this game is if you have Steam. So... When you go to Steam, there you click on, you know that you have your games in the library. You click on it once and then uh, find Workshop and you find in there and that's where you have all the mods from color skins, uh, real sound quality, you know, like realistic sounds, you name it. Okay. I have like hundreds of different mods like you can have no police uh you can actually take the weight station out where it doesn't even i don't remember if it beeps at you i don't think it does and if it does it's like twice and then it goes away but anyway this right here is all the mods that you need to if you want to do something exactly what i have um now 
I'm going to put at least this half right here that you see, I'm going to leave up a little bit longer so you guys can, you know, rewind the video and, you know, put it on pause. So you guys can look in each individual one. But um, it goes for the engines, the skins, uh, the rims, fenders, everything. Okay. Now I'm going to scroll down just a little bit more. And this is where you have, you know, your metallic colors. This right here is like you actually hear yourself getting out of the vehicle, putting the pump inside your gas tank, get back into your truck and turn your key. So that's what this is. Okay. Um, the realistic truck physics. Uh, this right here is the mod. One of my favorites, actually. You know how, like, in, re in reality, you see the trucks rock back and forth if they, like, you know, hit the gas too hard off the clutch? Uh, you do that. When you run over bumps and everything, it actually does that rock back and forth um, that most of us like. This right here is the Peterbilt Modified Viper 2. Uh, 1.36. Now it's uh, partly 1.38, which is a you know, still updating, but it does work. I've showed you guys it worked. So, and these right here are the different um, other mods and everything else that you need to pretty much do what I showed you. So all these mods here, and you can have, like I said, no traffic and everything else to put on. And sadly, these cannot be used on Truckers MP. It has to be in single-player to do all this sadly so that's how i got all the mods and everything else and like i said i'm leaving this up a little bit longer so you guys can see it let alone if you have to pause my video to look it up yourself you're more than welcome to um you even have christmas uh decorations and everything else uh from halloween to valentine's day but those are dlcs and everything you can go and buy uh and everything else now, where I got the skull, like the hanging skull and everything else and the, uh, the dog and all that, uh, this right here is the mod that you need, uh, right here, the accessories pack, okay? And I believe, if I remember correctly, there was a, no nope, that was it, okay. So, to hang stuff up, uh, you need this also, this other one too, which is cabin accessories. This is the name of the mod that you have, like your hanging skulls. You're able to have a dog on, you know, in your passenger seat and everything else. What I'm about to show you. <laughs> and uh, this is also your truck, extra truck add-ons. Like you have the extra lights and, you know, the all the extra goodies and everything else. And they also have one that's a trailer pack, which is, you know extra trailers and everything and they came out with this one where you are carrying really large extra large loads so what we're gonna do is now i showed you the mods and everything else what we're gonna do is we are going to get out of here we're gonna go back into the game And there she is. Can you imagine this? This good-looking truck with the flames and the skulls in the ring chasing after, chasing your uh, ass that night. Yeah. Anyways, what we're gonna do is we are going to go truck dealers. Now I'm gonna show you how to build it and you know and everything else and there's me probably a lot that i left out you know with what i'm about to show you on detailing the truck but you can find that out yourself when you get the you know your paws on this uh on these mods anyway you go to peterbilt find whatever you know peterbilt station you're at or you can get to now it says 12 okay I do have this old-fashioned rig right here, which everybody should know what this is. 
But that's not what we're here for today. We are here for her. This is the 379 slash 389 Peterbilt Viper 2. Okay. You can turn her into an old fashioned look or you can turn her into a new fashioned look. But we're going to show you how we do that. So you can change, you know, day cab and all that stuff. Probably looks familiar to you guys. Now here comes the fun part. All right, so you can have different size of chassis. So you can have your normal chassis. You can have that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Really short. You can even have your truck lowered. And you can have my personal favorite, the long chassis. All righty then. So the engine I actually surprised with you guys of like, oh my God, that actually sounds aggressive. Is this right here, the Cummings N14 525E14 Lita? That is what it is right there. So, I that was the engine that I put in her, and like I said, depending on transmission on what you guys want, you guys can go from 18, 13. You can go all the way down to nine if you wanted to, six. Really depends on your comfort level and what kind of shift you got. Ten. Okay, uh, this right here is where it gets even more fun. Um, you can actually change the dash. You guys couldn't tell right there. I was able to change the old fashioned to new fashion. Okay, I always will love the old fashioned look. I mean, how can not anyone like that old fashioned look? I do. All right, so here comes another one. We have color schemes. So we have Daredevil, which is everybody should know who Daredevil is. If not, I'm going to slap you. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so you got that. Mm, we'll go, go something more not boring. So you can go to the bright colors like that or... Aha, see, I tricked you guys. That's gray, but when you turn it over here, it gets red. Like, that's pretty badass right there. You got your green, you got your yellow. Got your uh, pink, your purple, your red. Okay, Candy King. It's the Christmas uh, mod that you can find in the store. Um, all yes, all these mods that I'm showing you that I have to decorate this truck is free. All you have to do is subscribe to the mods, and uh, when you get into the game, go to Mod Manager, and you're able to put these in, and they should work because they work for me. Um, there is a silly character by the name of Jaybird that I, uh, truck with every morning and all day. He actually digs this whole realistic green and, uh, black, uh, painting. So, there you go, Jaybird. Got you a green and black there. Um, we got this color, which is, I think, is pretty badass again. Then you have what's called Danger and has a little... Uh, poison skull on the side there. And you have that one. Okay. My personal favorite is that one. I love that one. And then you got the uh, blue and black. You got the perfect white. Okay. So on and so forth. I think we pretty much get our point. So this is where you get to customize the outside of the rig. Now, how I got the whites in front of the uh, nose here is you pretty much pick any bumper you want. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, I think you can pick. Yep. That's what I figured. Okay. So, and if you don't really care for much of chrome, so you want to add more color, uh, you can actually pick a bumper that actually has color. Then you can go back to it and get up close and the red lights that you see on the nose of my truck that I showed you was these ones right here. They're called red lead light two. I put those on and that's what I get. Uh, if you don't care for red all that much, there are multiple ones you can pick from and everything else, so on and so forth. So, you can pick 
the different uh, style of the nose, which that, or have a mixture of, you know, that, that one. Like I said, there's so many of them and everything else. Uh, we'll go with, to use an example, not really into the, like, chrome chrome, but. Okay, so you can do that. Oh, what else do we got here? Okay, so you're able, you know how your blinkers, right? You can actually change the blinker style where you can have them down here. Um, plastic. Uh, you can have them pretty much anywhere and you got them right there. So anything that you uh, like, we already did that. Did that. All right. So here's where you change your headlight styles. I believe if I'm correct. Uh, yeah. So these have different styles. Like you have your outlaw lights. I mean that looks pretty badass already. Uh, you got the new Vipers. Um, they do flicker. Okay. So if you have your beacons alert, you can actually have them flicker. All right. Uh, okay, so you see where's this Viper 2 on the grill, right? I mean, you can barely see it, but it's right there. You can have it uh, Peterbilt in white, silver, and you can have heavy or hauling ass with a half naked chick figure right there. And like I said, common sense, you know, you can change all that and everything else. You can also put uh, lights on top of the thing, or you can put one of these bad boys up, depending on your comfort. Uh, and, you know, you can put your license plate name thing on there if you wanted to. Um, you can hang stuff up inside a cab, which I'll show you that in a minute. You got your antennas. Okay, you got three ones, and then you have ones that move forward. Then you have different uh, mirrors and everything. And you got your beacons, right? Ah, here comes the fun pot. Again, you get to pick your stacks. And there's so much to choose from. You got the short, puny little ones, right? Then you got those. Got those. Oh, yeah. And you got those. You got the straight pipe. You got the big fat ones, where I like. And you got those long ones. Okay. I mean, there's so many to choose from. I mean, seriously, whatever your choice may be. Uh, da, 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 what else? What else? What else? Um. All right, obviously everybody knows what this is. But this, you can change half of this to your left blinker and half of this to your right. Oh my God, I just knew my left and rights. Wow. I'm sure all my buddies are probably clapping like, oh my God, he got it right, guys. Anyway, <laughs> long story for people that are like, what the hell is he talking about? I, half the time, I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, so you can have it painted. Ooh, I didn't know I could do that. That was new to me. But anyway, you can have lights on the side. These are not blinkers. They're just regular red or yellow light, standard lights. Like, a, like same lights as uh, right here. You can change the color of the chassis. Uh, what else do we do now? You can change. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, buddy. Dog it. But yeah. You're able to do that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, wrong one. Oops. I just I just did an oops, you guys. And you're able to do that and put the uh, the lights on the side here on the uh, front part of the stairs. Now that this is you can put 
sadly, they're, again, not blinker lights, but you can put regular homemade, uh, you know, red lights, yellow lights, whatever you want to put on here of your comfort, and there are different styles. You can have it to where it just shows the flames, or you can have it to where it shows chrome, or you can do it where there's not that many lights, but it's good at the same time. So you're able to do that too. Um, there is a way. I mean, I remember where it's at. Oh. Well, where to? Is it this? Yeah. Okay, we're good. Okay, I found it. So these right here, you can do them on both sides of the tank. Uh, you can also put blinkers on here. Yeah, you heard me. Blinkers. So when you hit your left. Like, say you're switching lanes, this whole side will light up of your gas tank, including the lights back there. And if you ever put lights on here, all that too. Um, so you're able to do that. And you're able to change your rear to be more appropriate and exact. Um, this is my favorite part of all time. You can have that, or we can have that. I mean, there's all, obviously, other ones, too. So, um, if you're a chrome fanatic, you can choose chrome, you can choose the half ones, you can choose those ones, you know. But my favorite is... But uh, a little bit more custom made. There is one of the things I wanted to show. Nope, those are tires. So. <clears throat> Excuse me, that was rude. My apologies. No. Oh my god. It's not that. Anyways. We're having issues. Okay, here we go. All right, so you can actually change the style of what's around your wheels here. My favorite is this one because it can have a little flame on the side added to it, and it has a little lip there where it actually makes it more look custom, okay? So... I actually kind of like that, to be honest with you. Huh. Nice. See what happens when you try showing off and you're like, wait a minute, I should have done that. But extra lights and everything else somewhere around here. Sure. No, nope, those are pipes. No. Oh, for the love of Pete. Come on now. There we go. Okay. So here are the neon interior cab lights. Now, let's say you're driving in the dark. Oh, I got to turn lights on. Well, inside the cab where the driver is, you can have it blue, green, red, or white, uh, to be matter of fact. So not only the outside of the rig is going to light up with all the lights I showed you, but the inside of the cab is going to actually light up. Isn't that sweet? Fantastic. Now we go to inside the rig, and you're able to choose different steering wheels, like skulls and all that jazz. Yes, guys, it is here. We can change it to brass knuckles. If, uh, you know, a lot of people are into that kind of stuff. Uh, you got regular chrome. You got your standard. You got your revolver. Okay. You got your twin sticks. All right. You got the black ones. And you got the one that actually has flames on them. Uh, those are the matching uh, twin stick paint. So it paints the same figuring of the truck. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. And this is where I got my poodle. Or German Shepherd, rather. There you go. Here's my best friend. There's a German Shepherd. 
one of my favorite breeds and everything else. And uh, you can add like pizza, drinks, and everything else. And yes, they have Playboy, sadly. And uh, <clears throat> you uh, can put, uh, you know, Star Wars figurines and everything there. You can, uh, let's see here. You can have different characters from like Star Wars and everything inside the rig. You can have, you know, your females, you know, Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader and this little gal here and all that. So, you pretty much got my drift on that part. So, there you guys have it. There's the inside and the outside. And one more institutional thing is you have hanging items which I always pick that one <laughs> I love that thing but anyway there you go there uh Silva is that you Silver it does look like silver to be honest with you like I'm not lying like a little bit especially with the hair I mean, his excuse was, I haven't cut my head in months. Well, there's you. You're in the game now. Congratulations, you're rich. <laughs> um, but yeah, there you go. And you can change the, the coloring of your, uh, uh, your uh, gauges and everything else. And there you guys have it. You just hit confirm, and there you go. And you're pretty much done. Like I said, sadly, none of this works on multiplayer, which I wish it did, but it doesn't. And we back out of here because we already have a truck, but that's what the Peterbilt 389 looks like stock. Not custom, just plain stock, okay? So, there you guys have it. Do, 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 do. All right, so if you guys have any questions or you know, concerns, or if there's anything you need help with, make sure you leave a comment below. Other than that, please like this video if you want to see more of something like this, let alone if you enjoyed it. Um, other than that, for people who have not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Other than that, for the people that have already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for the love and support, and I want to make a huge announcement to all my trucking buddies out there, including the boss, Thank you for all the support and everything. Thank you for letting me join your team and everything else. I have awesome, awesome good times and everything when we sit here in truck and just kind of joke around and everything else. I love you guys. Thank you for all the love and support. And uh, I want to do a special uh, thanks and everything to uh, Jay Bird. Jay Bird, thank you for you know letting me join the team and be your friend and everything else. And uh, Gecko, or I should say Mr. Gecko to you. Thank you so much for the love and support and everything too, buddy. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and everything. Creator G, uh, also, he's one of my other buddies. Uh, hopefully, I answered enough questions, let him show you enough evidence. Oh, oh my God, it's not like the, we're like the cops here, but hopefully that helped you out and everything. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. So, other than that, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and this is Bo, and we are getting the hell out of here. I'll catch you on the flip side. See you guys later.